Okay, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all well. It's actually 1.30, okay? I'm waiting for my sahri, okay, my suhoor, which is the night food that we eat as Muslims who are fasting the exact following day. So, really excited for that. And I have to, of course, keep the tonality of my voice down since other people are sleeping within the house. But I want to share something, okay? I'm really excited. And I want to share something that I believe a lot of you will find valuable. But first of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a mindset coach, okay? And also a businessman. I've been involved in the industry of business now for four years. This is my fourth year. But I want to share some of the takeaways, some of the tips, some of the some of the lessons that I've learned. In fact, I want to share with you guys five lessons that I've learned. So if you're new to the channel, I want to subscribe, subscribe to the Mindset Muhammad YouTube channel. And of course, if you find this value in this video, if you find any value, share it comment down and of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you're already an existing subscriber thank you for your patronage and i want to welcome you back to another incredible episode within our community of the mindset muhammad youtube community as well as the ig and facebook community so first of all the first lesson that i would say one of the most important lessons is to be a visionary you know i learned how to be a visionary okay I learned how to live in the future. And as an entrepreneur, if you're in business, you need to develop the ability, okay, to see the future. You need to develop the ability to see what's unseen to others. Okay, if all you believe in, if all that you look at is what's available to everybody else, you would already miss out on a lot of the opportunities out there. An entrepreneur is someone that is willing to work 40 hours in order to avoid working, uh, is someone that's willing to work 100 hours in order to avoid working for somebody else 40 hours. Why? Because they see another world for themselves and their family that other people want. So that's the first thing I learned. I, need to, I, I learned how to be able to visualize the future, to have the vision and have the emotional attachment with what is it that I want. That's the first lesson. The ability to see the future, okay, and know the other people and be okay at the fact that other people are not going to be able to see. That's the first lesson that I learned, okay. And in fact, I'll share with you a, an incredible art that I came across, I believe, a few months ago. And the artist was asked, How do you do this amazing painting? And guess what he said? Guess what he said? I jumped my painting, my drawing. And guess what? I drew my dream. They asked him, how did you do this? He said, I dreamt. Okay? He, he was dreaming about his painting, his drawing. And when he, when he wanted to get to work, he just drew what, he, he, just drew what he, he was dreaming about. That is using the, the faculty that God gave us that he never gave it to other animals. The ability to visualize. That's the first thing. The second lesson that I learned after four years of being an entrepreneur is <clears throat> being crystal clear with what you want. Hey, what is it that you want in your life? Yeah, what your friends and family members want matters, but it doesn't matter as much as what you want. What do you want? You gotta ask yourself. Yeah, I respect what my friends want. I respect what my family want. But what matters to me the most is what I want. I want to be able to sponsor 100 orphans. Does my, does my mom want it? If she want it, good. If she doesn't, good. I want to sponsor and build 100 mosques. Does my friend want that? Good. He doesn't want it, still good. Why? Because that's what I want, not what he wants. Not what she wants. So you got to be okay with other people not following the vision. With other people not dreaming as big as you. When you want to put 10 hours a day, you got to be okay with somebody else putting half an hour a day. Why? Because that's what they're capable of and that's what they want to do. Who am I to judge somebody else for doing one hour a day when I want to do 15 hours a day of work? Why? Because their dream might not be as big as mine. What they visualize, what they have the emotional attachment with might not be as big as what I am attached to. Right? So first lesson is you got to be able to visualize the future. You got to be able to have the ability, the fact that you see the future. Second is to be crystal clear about what you want. Third is to be coachable. Man, I'm telling you, I learned this the hard way. First, I thought I knew it all. Until the results that I was getting wasn't proving that. So I had to learn how to humble myself, 
how to learn how to actually listen to the people that have the results that I want. See, a lot of us have that problem. We want to talk, we want, we want to teach others, we want to mentor other people, we want to educate other people, we want to empower others, we want to enrich others, but we don't have the information ourselves. Hey, I'm telling you, nobody's going to come to me if I don't have the result that they want. If my body's in the right shape, yeah, somebody can come to me and ask me, how do you get this body? But if I don't, I have no right absolutely to be educating someone else on how to be healthy, how to live the good life, how to live a healthy life, how to be satisfied with your body. So I have to learn how to humble myself and I have to learn how to be coachable. Now I'm telling you, I have a mentor that makes money that other people just dream about when it comes to financial benefits. I have to learn how to follow what he's saying. Right? Go and listen to people that have the results that you want. Not the results that they think they want. Not the results that they think they can get you. Follow people that have the results that you want. Fourth one is Become more skilled. Man, I'm telling you, the world doesn't need more thinkers. The world needs more doers. Hey, there's something called entrepreneurs and there's something called entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur has an idea today, tomorrow they take an action. Massive action. Man, I'm telling you, when I discovered that I can help other people get what they want, and guess what? I don't have to worry about what I want. I was taking massive action. You can go to my YouTube, you can go to my Instagram, you can go to my Facebook. And look around what was happening in April 2019. Look around what was happening in May 2019. Look around what was happening in June 2019. Look around what was happening in 2018. You will see that I was not just sitting down. I was not an entrepreneur. I was not an entrepreneur. A entrepreneur is someone that has an idea today. Tomorrow they still have the idea. Next week they still have the idea. Next month they still have the idea. The market doesn't want more thinkers only. Yeah, we need more thinkers. But the marketplace also wants more doers. People that are action oriented people that are willing to put in the work my friend everybody can do all the talking but not a lot of people not everybody can do what the walking so i have to learn hey man you gotta have it you want to have a big mouth you gotta have a big work ethic too right that's the fifth one fourth one is uh, fourth one is being more skilled right i actually wrote those down so that i can remember exactly what i'm saying in this video First one is you got to be learned how to be visionary, how to, the ability to visualize the future and guess what, get to work knowing that you might not get the result tomorrow, next month or next year, but you definitely know where it is that you're going. Think about it. What about mentors said, hey, the biggest problem that everybody has is number one, they don't know where they are and number two, they don't know where they're going. Alhamdulillah, I'm forever grateful that I know where I am and I know where I'm going. So I'm okay with not others seeing that. Right? Visionary is the first one that I, that I learned. First lesson. Second lesson is to be crystal clear about what I want. Not what everybody else wants, what I want. Third one is to be coachable. To be coachable. To listen to the people that have the results that I want. Fourth one is to become more skilled. The marketplace needs people that are more skilled. People that have more, that, that, have, that have more skill. And number two, that also understand human behaviors, human emotions. That can handle objections. Okay, fifth one, my friend, is just getting to work. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, you should be fine with working 10, 15 hours a day, right? What's the definition of an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is someone that's willing to work 100 hours a week to avoid working 40 hours for somebody else. Why? Because they see a different vision for them and their family. So just get into work. And I'm telling you, I said to my mentor, hey, show me the plan, I'll run with it. He showed me the plan ever since I never looked back, I ran with it and I never changed plan. Never change plan, okay? What is focus? Focus is what? Doing one thing until success, right? So that's the fifth one, getting to work. And I want to give you a tip one, okay? Guess what the tip one is? Have the end in mind. Have the end in mind and work backwards. Have the end in mind. Hey, where is my end goal? My end goal is senior vice president. Now, Crystal clear. I know where I'm. I know where I am. I'm an executive team leader. I know where I'm going. I'm going to senior vice president. Next is regional director. Then regional vice president. Gold, platinum, senior vice president. It's a deal done. Right now, at the age of 19 years old, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm senior vice president. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've been able to help 10 other people become senior vice president. Ladies and gentlemen, right? It's a deal done. It's done in my head. All I have to do now is wait for the back office to update. To catch up. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've already retired. My mom, my stepmother, my dad, and my older sister. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've already sponsored 
100 orphans. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've already built over 100 mosques. Right? You get to have it all done. Right? The first person you get to sell the idea on is you. Not your mom, not your dad, not your spouse, not your kids, not your spouse, not, not, nobody else. It's you, my friend. So I hope you learn these five lessons and run with. So with that said, these are the five lessons that I've learned, my friend, over the last four years of being in business. You want to be in business, you need those five ideas, those five lessons. And the tip one, of course, the sixth one. So with that said, thank you everybody for watching this. God bless you all and enjoy the rest of the week.